neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Acts 4 and 12. Hello, precious hearts. How are you and your family? How are your loved ones? Hope you have a blessed day today. And that God meet the need. If you believe in God, let us pray together. Pray that you and whoever is on your prayer list or on your heart to pray that God bless and that God bring deliverance. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we come before you, as humble as we know how, Lord, you know all those that are hearing right now. And we ask you to bless them. Bless them in their hearts and in their minds. You know, each and every need. And we thank you that we could come to you. Because you are a mighty God. You are a holy God. You are a righteous God. And Lord, you are able to bless our sons and our daughters. You're able, those that have sons and daughters, husbands and wives, their families blessing us one by one in our homes. You're able to loose the strongholds of Satan and set the captive free. You know all the prayers that have been prayed. And Lord, we just ask you to give us strength in our heart and mind to hold on by faith and believe you that it is going to be done and it's going to be blessings. Oh God, according to your will, let your will be done. Heavenly Father, have your way. And Lord, if there's any prayer request or anything unspoken, you are all wise and all knowing you know the need and you can meet the need even now, whoever it is. And we thank you in advance for what you're going to do and what you already have done. We thank you. We glorify your name. We come before you, Lord, just hoping that you will help us to make any changes in our lives that we need to make to make it to that city if it costs our life those that are believers and filled with the Holy Ghost and the ones that are bound in sin and Lord we're asking you to loose those chains that are binding them and set them free in their heart and in their mind, sin is gross darkness. But Lord, you could take the sin out of the lives that those that are repenting. And you could put repentance, a spirit of repentance on their heart. Oh, hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, because you put repentance on my heart. And I repented. And I am a living witness that you are able to to deliver I claim victory for myself and for all that is hearing hallelujah this prayer right now we thank you Lord for prayer oh and may we continue on to pray the more and that we make changes not just pray but by faith make a change make a change wherever the spirit is saying Make a change. Whenever your word is coming forth, let us hear it in humility and seek to make a change. And Lord, you are a rewarder of those that diligently seek you. Oh, bless your holy name. Thank you, dear Father. Thank you, God, because you answer before we even call. You already have the answer because Jesus is the answer. Jesus, you are the answer. Hallelujah. And there is power in your name. How do we spell relief? 
J E S U S. How are you spelling relief, precious hearts? Hope we can spell it together. J E S U S is our relief. Call on that name, for there is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Hoping and that God bless me to have prayer, morning prayer Monday through Friday, probably around this time. And because there's different Time, standard times, Eastern Mountain. Well, precious hearts, I hope you received something out of this prayer. I know I did because prayer changes things. And as we stay before God together and pray and believe God, we can have some victory in our prayers. And I just thank God for you all that are stopping by and praying. And may the rest of your day or evening or whatever your time zone is, showers of blessings come your way in all that you do today. In the mighty name of Jesus, take care with prayer. God bless you all. In Jesus' name.